we go through, uh, starting with A, we're converting from exponential into logarithmic form. So take the base of our log, that becomes, the, or the base of our exponent becomes the base of our log. And we are going to convert this to a natural log, an ln here in just a moment. But here's our base to the power of x. So that's going to go on its own side of the equation. And is equal to 5, that's going to go on the inside. So if we simplify it, we get ln of 5 equals x to be our log form. Go ahead. It, the ln just means it's a log with a base e. And it's referred to as a natural log. Okay. For b, again, we take our log with the base of whatever, oops, whatever the base of our exponent was. The base of our exponent is a 4. So log base 4 of the power goes alone on one side. So 4 to the power of 2 is going to equal whatever's inside the log, in this case 16. And so there's nothing you need to simplify. That is your expression. For C, here we have a natural log, an ln. So uh, when we, through these last two, we're converting them from the log form into the exponential form. So we take our base, which is e to the power of x, set it equal to what's inside the log, or, and you have your uh, exponential form. And then the final example, again, converting from log to exponent, take your base, 3 to the power of x, whatever's alone on, its, on one side of the equation, set that equal to whatever's inside our log, 2. And so that would be the exponential form conversion as well. Any question on those converting properties? All right. When you're evaluating, again, it's based on the same idea. You just assign it a variable and then convert it into the exponential form. So 5 to the x. So base 5 to the power of x is equal to whatever's inside, 25. Well, 25 is 5 squared. Equate the powers. So you get x is equal to 2. So this whole value is a value of 2. Okay. For f, we're going to, again, assign a variable. We get 2 to the y is equal to 1. What will y have to be the only way to get a 1? 0. Okay. So again, if you wanted, you can rewrite this as a base 2 to the 0. Equate the powers to get your solution. Okay. And finally, g, we take our base, or, or in this one, oops, this equals shouldn't be there. So log 1 third of 9. So we take our, set this equal to z. Take our base of one third to the power of z, and that's going to equal whatever's inside nine. Okay. And so, what do we have to do on this? We can do one of two things. We need to get our bases to be the same. Okay. If we change each of these to a base of three, we have three to the minus one z, and here we have three squared. Take a power to a power, we multiply. So we get negative z as our power on the left. A 2 is our power on the right. Equate our powers. If negative z is equal to 2, then that means z itself. You'd multiply both sides by a negative. Is equal to a negative 2. Okay. 